In this video, I'm going to share with you the best cover 3 bomb in Madden 22 post-patch out of the trip side information. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, just wanted to let you know that I just released my Trips Tight End Offensive ebook. If you'd like to get the entire offense, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can get the offense for just 15 bucks. I also wanted to quickly point out that if you've not joined my Patreon membership, it is $10 a month and it gets you unlimited access to every ebook that I release. So far in Madden 22, I've released 10 ebooks, seven defensive guides, and three offensive guides. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level, I would really encourage you to sign up for that Patreon membership for just $10 a month, and you can cancel it whenever you want to, but as long as your subscription is active, you're gonna get access to every ebook that I've released so far and that I'm going to release in the future. That being said, let's go over the best cover three beater out of the trip side information post patch right now in Madden 22. Now EA Sports obviously patched Madden. They made cover three significantly better. So here's how we're going to beat it. We're going to come out in the play uh, Pats. Uh, Pat's YN. This is out of the New England Patriots uh, offensive playbook. You don't need Hot Route Master to do this. Hot Route Master allows you to do this from any play in the formation. Uh, but basically what you're going to do from Pat's YN is you are going to block your running back. You're going to streak the triangle receiver and you're going to put circle on a slant. And with the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is as long as we get some time, the square receiver is going to, we're going to pass lead that to the right. And as you see, we're going to go up and make a catch. Now, oftentimes, you're actually going to be able to go ahead and rat catch that. Um, the one adjustment that I would recommend if you do have Hot Rebuster or a tight end apprentice is to go ahead and put your tight end on a post. I find that that helps a little bit better. Uh, and what you'll see is we just have to wait a lo long enough for that to get open. And here you see we're able to just basically rat catch it and absolutely bomb the meta uh, cover three. Now I'm going to show you another coverage that I think is obviously making a significant comeback right now, and that is the Mike Blitz three meta Mabel coverage. What I mean by Mabel is we are going to double flat, and what you're going to be able to do with this is basically as a check down, you have your slant or your post that you can hit with your tight ends, and then if they are able to use or both of those things, then you've got Mike Evans running over the top for a one play score. So this is my favorite cover three bomb uh, post patch right now in Madden 22. I also like this because let's say for example um, that they run some cover two because a lot of people like to run cover two in this year's game. Uh, cover two is still a decent defense that you're gonna see a lot online. What you're gonna see from this is typically this post to square uh, will get over the top of the cover two as you can see for a one play score. It basically dumbs out deep halves just as well as it dumbs out the outside third zone. So I really do love this passing concept. And like I said before, a lot of people right now are going to be shifting into what is called the Mike Blitz 3 Meta Mabel coverage. What that means is they're going to play cover three and they're going to double flat both sides. They're going to have an underneath flat zone to take away things like the flat route. And then they're going to have some kind of deep zone to take away a deep corner, deep crosser. The beauty of this tight end post is this tight end post oftentimes gets over or gets underneath those 30 yard cloud flats, which are very popular if, you know, if you're going to be able to, or if they're going to be running some Mabel coverage. Now, if you have hot route master, all you have to do is hot route that left side guy to a skinny post. And now we can do this from pretty much any play in the formation. So for example, I really like to play PA counter go because of the blocking that it creates. So you could do something like this and now it looks exactly like your PA counter go, right? But it's not, it's, it's this concept right here. And now you're going over the top because a lot of the times the way people are gonna try to stop the PA counter go is with a meta Mabel coverage. Why are they gonna try to do that? Well, because they're gonna try to stop your deep crosser with that 30 yard cloud. And then they're gonna stop your underneath route with that little five yard uh, purple. So when you do something like this, now all of a sudden they can't just run that because you're gonna bomb them over the top if they're not careful. And again, a lot of times they'll fall asleep and you know, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work or whatever, just go ahead and try to aggressive catch that. I like to put deep out of lead on that player. And the reason why I like to put deep out of lead on that player is so that it just improves his ability to catch this bomb. Um, if for whatever reason, you know, we get in trouble, if we get shedded, like you see right there, you know, again, you have your slant, you have your post that you can easily check down. But this to me is probably the best cover three bomb uh, in the game right now, especially from trips tight end. So if you want to learn my entire uh, trips tight end offensive guide, I would really encourage you to go ahead and pick that up. Again, I'm going to put a link to that 
uh, in the description of this video, and you're gonna you're gonna be able to sign up for that Patreon membership for just ten bucks a month. It gets you access, unlimited access to everything. You get all of my eBooks that I've released so far this year. I've released ten eBooks so far, and we've got a lot more eBooks coming. So thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to sign up for that True Fan membership, head down to the description, click that link. I'm also gonna put that in the comments as well, and you can check that stuff out. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.